Hey guys, it's Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome to the farm vlog today. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful grass is starting to come up. This is the garden, not the grass. This is Steve. Steve has driven all the way from Asheville, North Carolina, from the beautiful mountains of Asheville, North Carolina, and he's volunteered to help me for the day. So me and Steve are going around doing honeydew list stuff that needs to be done here on the Stony Ridge Farm. So say hey to the chickens. We're out picking up rocks right now. Guys, We've taken four or five loads of rocks and basically we're dumping rocks in spots that need erosion control. And also we're going to do a bunch of honeydew. So come along with us. We're going to put some rims on the Bronco today. Uh, our old Bronco, we got a 69 Ford Bronco up there that's just sitting out in the weather. I got to get it under cover. So we're going to put it underneath this carport right here. It runs, it drives, but the tires are falling off the wheels. So we got to get busy on that. Going to go dump some rocks. Basically. We just have 10,000 rocks to pick up today. Come on along with us today. We'll take you on a quick little farm adventure, show you what's going on. All right, woo! Stony Bridge. Farm Stony Bridge. Stony Bridge Farm. That right there, that is living proof that the rooster knows when the camera's on. There's some sort of electronic connection between that rooster's brain and this camera. Every time I turn the camera on, stupid rooster. Anyhow, here is a load of rocks. Now, we've got the gator out here. The gator has a 1,500 pound capacity, okay? 1,500 pounds towing, 1,500 pound capacity. We are probably exceeding that 1500 pounds. So when we first got the gator, I was told this John Deere gator can do anything. It can haul this, it can tow this, it can pull rocks, it can pull this and that. No, it can't guys. I've got to be smart about it. So we'll put her in low, four wheel drive, take it easy, take care of the gator and get these rocks down to an area that's starting to wash out in the creek. We're going to pour them in there so when the creek comes through, it doesn't wash out the road. Kind of cool. Let's go down there and check it out. <laughs> So we said it once, we say it again, water, water, water. We gotta think water on the farm, okay guys? We're heading over to where we have a new road built. You haven't seen this new road on the vlog, so we're getting ready to go over there. First, we're gonna dump this load of rock and then I'll take you over there. Let me show you where we're dumping the rock. Right in over here, the creek is about to meet the road. So we've gotta stop this erosion here. And how we're gonna stop it is putting rocks right there. What you don't know about what I'm getting ready to do here is it's extremely dangerous. If I back too far over this hill, the gator has so much weight in the back that it could easily tip all the way backwards and flip the gator over. So I have to be very careful. I actually lock the brake and get off of the gator before we open the tailgate and then dump. And basically from this point, we just take our rocks and we gently place them down the hill and hopefully don't hit the tripod. We'll toss all these rocks down the hill and this will prevent the erosion of this creek and actually build soil right here where we're at. Pretty neat. Here's my technique. Whoop. Whoop. So from this point right here, all these rocks, I'll show you, let me pick the camera up and show you. So all these rocks back in here are all placed by us. And basically what happens is there's no tree here. There's no roots here. There's nothing to hold the soil back. If we place these rocks here, it'll eventually wash topsoil over on top of these or sediment and cause this area to build back up and keep it from washing. Pretty cool. It's very important on the farm. So how's your work day been going? Good. Good? Yes. Good. <laughs> Man of lots of words. <laughs> All right guys, let's take you around here and we'll show you the new road. We just cut a new road through the forest to go to our cabin area. If you're new to the channel and this is your first time watching, thanks for coming. Click the thumbs up, click the little bell down there and for God's sake, subscribe to the channel. This is where we're gonna build our cabin, guys. We're gonna build a awesome, modern, retro, modern type cabin farm stay. And that's for you guys to come and stay on the farm if you wanna come and enjoy this place with us. We're also gonna try and set up a work day a work day where folks can come and do what steve's doing here and come help work on the farm put a little bit of ownership into stony ridge farm and enjoy themselves it should be pretty fun get out get a little bit of fresh air and 
have some fun. Live that farm life. Get your farm fit on, dude. Get strong like boy. All right, enough of that rambling. Let's go and we'll show you the new road. It's gonna meander through the forest. I'll talk you through it as we drive through there. Here's a rock pile, guys. This is a pile of rocks that we're gonna be moving down the road here, but it was too wet for me to drive down. This is our new farm road to get to the backside of our big field. And we'll drive down through here real quick. It's still really muddy. It rained two days ago and it's still really muddy, like I said. <laughs> so we'll come down through here. We'll kind of give you the fast version. Here is the bridge, okay? So let's talk about the bridge. So guys, what you see around you right here, this is an old roadbed. An existing pipe was in the creek right here and there was a bridge that went across the creek. Well, it went under disrepair and the disrepair caused the pipe to wash out. We got two replacement pieces of pipe and they're twice the size of the old pipe and we restored the old pipe and we put it all in the creek right here. And what we're doing is getting rocks and rip raft rocks and we're dressing up the side of this area. Let me show you. So washing, washing, washing. Once again, controlling washing is a big problem. We're taking riprap and we're putting it all on the edge of where this pipe is. And here's the pipe down here and here's the riprap. So that's what that big pile of rocks is out there. We'll take little stones like here and we'll line this bridge area with little stones and pack them in good and ride over top of them. And once that's packed in good, we'll haul in gravel and we'll make a nice gravel road to our cabin site, which is right up here. I'll show you that real quick. Let's go over there. Back in this beautiful area on the top of this little hill, there's a perfect place for an awesome, awesome farm stay cabin, guys. <coughs> this inhaled a bug. <coughs> I saw the gnat go in my mouth. A gnat is in my lungs laying eggs right now. Ugh. Ugh. Can't make stuff up like that. This is where our cabin's gonna go. It's gonna go up on the top of this ridge right here. And it may be where our house goes. I don't know, I don't know for sure. Our waterfall is down here. A beautiful area to walk. A beautiful place for a hiking trail. Guys, click me some thumbs up. Let me know. Leave me some comments if you'd like to stay here. I'll put you on the list. Guys, stay on the channel and we're gonna take you through the journey of building this cabin. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Am I gonna buy a prefab cabin and put it up here? I don't know. Nationwide Homes has some pretty cool stuff. We may go up to the Nationwide Factory. It's just right up the road here in Martinsville, Virginia. I don't know. I'm curious. Waterfall's right down there. Got a picnic table down there. Got a camp out area. Just a beautiful, beautiful place in the woods here, guys. And we are so, so far off the beaten path. We're back here where you can just do whatever you want, relax, and enjoy yourself. Not hear any cars. Just great. Look at how pretty this is, guys. The grass is starting to come in in our new fields. It's opened up. Man, it's so beautiful. It's gonna be so nice when it's all luscious and green. So guys, this is gonna be our last load of rocks today, and then we're gonna take you down. We're gonna show you the Bronco. I'm gonna take the tractor forks, and I'm gonna put it under the Bronco. We're gonna lift it up, and we're gonna switch out the tires. A friend of mine named Greg, awesome guy, he brought some gravel down here. He gave us the wheels and tires for the Bronco. He had an old Bronco. We started talking Bronco stories and stuff like that, and he's like, yeah, I used to have an old 70 Broncos. Got new wheels for it. I said, dude, you got the old ones? He said, yeah. Brought them to me, gave them to me. So nice. So happy that I live in a community like this. It just, it just brings a smile to my face. What a great place to live. What a beautiful life. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along, yeah. I've been running around this farm just chasing them chickens that are running along, yeah. Cause we got gold. So guys, the next thing we're gonna do here today, look at this tire, good gracious. The Bronco's tires are all dry rotted and crusty and they're off the wheel, I mean, come on. So my friend Greg hooked me up with these new Bronco wheels. Check it out, awesome. We're gonna get the tractor and we're gonna get the uh, pallet forks and we're gonna raise up the Bronco, put these new tires on. All right, so the next step in this process is we're gonna hook a chain to the Bronco and we're gonna pull it out just a little bit from where it's tucked away and we're gonna lift up the front, put the new wheels on, lift up the back, put the new wheels on it, 
I'm not really sure how this is going to work lifting it up with the pallet forks, but we'll be as safe as we possibly can and we won't get up under the vehicle, so it'll be all right. We're going to raise it up right here and basically put these new wheels and tires on it so we can get it down and get it under some cover, guys. The Bronco runs really good, but I've got a fuel tank issue with it. So we've got to get the fuel tank replaced in the Bronco or repaired somehow so it doesn't have any rust in it. I think it's got a hole in it, though. So we'll probably replace the fuel tank and then we'll have a cool rig to ride around on the farm. Bronco's awesome. Never ever in an old vehicle like this, <laughs> ever take the window all the way down. You gotta pull it up. You never know, it might drop off the track and you can't get the damn thing out, so at least you can pull it up from there. It got a little bumpy there. I was kind of worried and these forks could puncture the gas tank. It's pretty stupid. Don't do this at home, guys, okay? Just don't do this at home. But look at this tire. This tire is ridiculous. We gotta get her off there. We got some man work to do now, all right. Guys, I don't even know if these lugs are gonna come off here and I, hopefully they're the right lugs that'll fit with the new wheels. But we'll just see here. Not with this old DeWalt crappy battery. <laughs> Back to the new DeWalt. Let's try out the new DeWalt batteries on this. So this thing is really, really rusty and really, really tight. We're gonna spray it down with a little bit of uh, lubricant and try to loosen these bolts up a little bit. We don't have penetrating oil up here, but we got this monster can of WD-40. It's like a WD, it's called the Big Blast. I'll post a link down below, but it's like a, a soaker hose for WD-40. We'll go over here to the front wheel and show you. It's called the Big Blast. So here's the Big Blast, boom. And that thing just soaks, just like drenches it with WD. If you don't know how to change your own tire, guys, learn how to change your own tire. <laughs> Using a tractor isn't really the smart way to do it, but learn how to change your own tire. We'll have a tire changing class one day. <laughs> Vast improvement, guys. This is an awesome improvement. Thank you so much, Greg, for doing this. Greg, you're probably watching this, so I really appreciate it. Let's get the other wheels on. No. <laughs> So we got the front up. Let's get that front wheel on. Guys, we got the wheels on the Bronco. What do you think? Tell me what you think. Click that like button. Look at that, it makes the Bronco just pop. This old Bronco has been in my family since, oh, I don't know, like 1991 or 92. I drove this thing when I was in high school. Not to school, but I drove it around the farm. And one day we're out on the farm, I was driving through the field, just like an idiot. It's got a three speed on the column. I was like second gear wide open with my friend Ronnie. Ronnie, if you're watching this, I know you remember because we were going right through the field and we hit a tree about this big around and we went whoop. We were looking straight up at the stars, man. It was in the dark and I'm gonna tell you, I was probably a little bit too young to be doing the ridiculous stupid activities I was doing. Anyhow, the Bronco runs, guys. In case you wonder, it does run, but I've got an issue with the fuel tank. Either fuel tank is full of rust or it has a hole in it. One or the other, I put fuel in there and it'll run for a little bit and then it stops. I've got a new fuel filter on it and it does have a lot of rust in it. If you guys know a good source for getting Bronco parts, let me know. Post me a link down there or just tell me or whatever you want to do, just tell me a good place to get some Bronco parts. We're going to take this Bronco, it's got the 289 V8 in it, we're going to pull it down in the garage and we're going to get to work on it. So stick around for the next few vlogs, you know, sometime here in the winter and we'll be working on the Bronco, we'll get it up and running and we'll cruise around the farm in it. I can't wait. I want to take the time now to thank Steve, man. Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, greasy, dirty hands. <laughs> he don't mind shaking greasy, dirty hands. Steve just came and volunteered. If you guys want to come and volunteer on the farm, contact me, okay? Maybe we'll have a volunteer day sometime, like two days a year. Maybe a spring volunteer day and a fall volunteer day to come out and work on the farm, see what it's all about. Come and enjoy yourself and enjoy some of this beautiful North Carolina sun. So, did you have a good time today? Yes, I did. I had a good time. Did some good honest work. We picked up a buttload of rocks today. I can't thank him enough. I mean, just a buttload of rocks today. Anyhow, the sun's starting to set, guys. I'll get you some beautiful drone footage of the sun setting on the mountains today. It's clear, 
it's sunny, it's beautiful, the leaves are changing, it's awesome. So click that like button guys, click the little bell down there if you can remember it somewhere down here and that'll let you know when I post a new vlog or a new video. Just showing you basically today is a vlog about nothing. We picked up rocks, we put the wheels on the Bronco, we're leading into a few more big projects. We got lots of good beautiful grass growing here on the farm. I'm loving it. Let me take you over here and show you. I'm so proud of it. Look at that. Look at that field. There was no grass. No grass. It was just dirt like two weeks ago. Beautiful, beautiful place. So happy. Come back and see me, guys. Thanks a lot. Well, come on down to the Stony Ridge. Bring your wife and bring your kids. We're living life pure and sweet. That's the way it's supposed to be, Stony Ridge. I totally forgot. <laughs> totally. Steve, what are we going to do here? The woo? Do the woo. All right, now, come on back and see us. Woo! Woo! <laughs>